Um, uh, hopefully they can hear me. Uh, I believe there's a person called Christian who's entered the chat, who's entered the Discord, but I don't know if it's someone we know. Um, let me just give me a quick sec, Metro. Uh, you're, I believe you're all in the Discord, so I'm just making you, you're up. Um, we shall see. Yeah. Got King R M Dongdron versus Metro. So Metro is a new player. I've not seen him play before. I don't know. I know that Metro, um, Saber, Scarlet, basically a lot of the uh, the homies crew is from the Leeds, uh, Leeds League of Smash players. So welcome to the people from Yorkshire. Uh, shout outs to them. <laughs> uh, Metro does not have a Twitch account, surprisingly. Uh, but we'll see if that does change. He is, uh, I think Metro is one of the few players who is uh, playing from... Uh, who is playing from Preston, actually. He's actually a Northwesterner, uh, unlike some of the Leeds lot, who's from the Northwest of England. Uh, we shall see how this works out for us as we go into our next set of games. Um, so, if you don't know what this is, my name is Faz. As we're waiting for, um, as we're waiting for Metro to turn up into the arena, uh, arena, my name is Faz. This is the Friday Night Faz Club. I am your hostess with the mostess. I have been running this tournament since April of 2022. Uh, it was originally it was initially made as a tournament for to celebrate uh, effectively my birthday, uh, but it ended up evolving into something more where more people came in and loved being a part of a tournament and challenging themselves and as well as challenging new people coming in. So uh, it's been a tournament that we've been running since then. Metro is on his way. Thank you very much, Saber Scarlet. I really do appreciate that. Um, so that is what the tournament provides a an area where people can you know train up and even play to their fullest extent if they want to play for them good ggs they want to play for them um uh, them uh, they want to show their improvements i mean i'm not gonna lie going up against nef kaiser i felt very happy with my improvements because i have been uh, like i've never i've never really made it to the end of the tournament i never made it to the finals i don't think i've ever come second i've come fourth fairly regularly maybe even third but generally speaking i they have been through buys or by accident um so i i'm really appreciative of the skills that i have built in that time and that's what we are that's what this tournament is meant to provide a space for you to be able to do that without it being a judgment on um uh on the game or the community we want to try and provide a very wholesome community in that sense uh with that being said uh we have kengar m dongadron he is known as the captain guardian as is as i've been told i've been specifically told to say it this way uh, Captain Guardian of the Knights of Fae. Uh, that means that he is a huge fan of the voice actress uh, Fae Marta. You may know her as, um, I believe she was known as Princess Aura on Pokken way back in the day when she used to be part more, more part of the esports scene. But she is also a huge Smash Bros. player in the sense of... Um, uh she is a huge uh she is a huge smash player in the sense that she had played palatina she has been playing smash bros since the beginning of smash bros um she's been around for a long time she played pokken she played smash she played uh any sort of fighting game she's also in guilty gear and grand blue fantasy versus um versus the dongas as he is previously known as he is indeed the dongas and metro has arrived let's see how this is going to turn out for us as we go into metro's debut Whereas, um, uh, yeah, I was very happy with my run. Also, getting Nintendo tax aside, I kind of like Plant versus Bowser. I mean, that makes sense. The Weed Whacker versus the Weed. Um, let's see how this works out for us. As Kengar, the King K. Rule Specialist, versus Metro playing as King D D D D D. Um, uh, we'll see how this works out. Who will take the advantage? If we were going to talk about um, power, power advantage... I would definitely say the advantage definitely goes to King DDD. But if we're talking about just versatility, definitely there's a huge um, there's a huge reason to believe in King K Rule's ability to win in most of these fights. Nicely done. Throws him up. Oh, we can see it. No, nice. Goes for the grab. Oh, we can see it. Throws a crown out. Cannonball. Nicely done. Goes for the spin hammer. And Kengar, 128% damage with almost less than a minute is in definite hot water with 57 percent by metro nicely done throws out a spiny ball okay we're gonna see it oh that was a beautiful catch by metro 
eats the cannonball and sends it back and was able to knock him out in the process. Kengar loses his first stock at one minute left uh, at one minute of gameplay time, whereas Metro is at 97, 92% on their first stock still. So we'll see if this it works out for him. Nicely done. Gets the uh, blunder busted. Show, throws King DDD out of the arena. Was trying to spike him, but just luckily was able to make it back into the arena. Okay. Kengar makes it back on stage. Whereas King DDD is trying to push him out. Throws a spiny ball. Was, gets blocked. Throws a crown. Doesn't hit a target. But was sucked up by Metro. Ooh, that was so scary. Gets the hammer, but was able to catch him in the meantime. Nicely done. We're going to see it. Good grab. Throws a dash. Cannonball. Throws a missile drop kick. Kengar pushing Metro to the side of the arena. Is Metro going to make it in his debut? I don't know what exactly happened there. But he was able to stamp uh, King DDD out of his second stock. And all of a sudden, Metro is on his final stock. And now both of them playing uh, Reflex. Uh, goes for the grab. Gets a spine buster. Goes for a dunk. Kengar is in a very comfortable position. At 87%, that's still a very survivable advantage for Kengar in his second stock. 100% damage. Metro, 68% on his final stock. If he was at 69, maybe he might have an easier time. Ooh! Tries to send him to the top of the arena. But Kengar was able to DI out of it. Still keeps his second stock intact. 2 minutes, 29 seconds left on the clock. As, ooh, that was a great dash. That was such a last minute dash too. Was able to catch him on the edge and was able to take out Kengar's second stock. We'll see if this is now the start of King uh, DDD's counter attack. It wasn't. Kengar was able to use a down smash but and was able to push out King DDD. That's King K rule one. That is Kengar M Dongas one, Metro zero. From one king to another, from one king on an island to one king in the middle of a uh, of the Antarctic, who takes it? That's the question right now. Which king is uh you know which king is actual king? Okay, we have three kings in this, four kings in this game: King K. Rule and King DDD, King Don uh, uh, <laughs> King Gan Ganondorf and King Bowser. But let's see who's gonna be the true king in this particular case. Let's see, done. Nicely done. Throws him back as we're playing in the Fire Emblem level. This might be a, ta a statistical, sorry, a tactical advantage for King DDD. Nicely done. Throws the hammer out. Throws him back. Nicely done. Jumps up and swings his hammer again. Tries to go for a dunk. Doesn't really work out for him. Kengar was able to make it back on stage. Ooh. Throws the crown. Gets eaten in the process while uh, at the same time the crown makes it back. Hits the back of King DDD and was able to free him at this moment in time with 30 seconds, around 30 seconds of gameplay time. Metro is at 121% with King DD. Kengar is at 82% with King K rule. We'll see who's going to take the advantage, who's going to take the first stock. It seems more like we're getting ever edging closer to that first stock kill. Metro was able to make it back onto the stage with very little help, uh, I think, help on that one. Nicely done. Ooh, that was a nice one. Throws him off to the side of the stage. And then with the recovery from Kenga, uh, slams him to the top of the arena. Kenga loses his first stock, whereas Metro is still on his f um, loses his first stock. Metro is at 158%, and as I say, that gets dunked off the ke uh, edge of the stage. Loses his first stock too. Both of them are now around the same percentage on their second stock. With three minutes, 41 seconds left remaining on the clock. We'll see if this is what who will come up with, uh, who will come up on top at this moment at the moment. Uh, sorry, at this time at the moment. Both of them at neutral area of the stage. Throws them down. King K rule likes to use hammers. Not really one for guns, but oh, this might have been a disadvantage for Kengar that unlucky was able to spike it onto the edge of the stage. Throws them down. Kengar goes for the chase down, but Metro replies. Ooh, both of them going for reflex style attacks or invincibility style attacks. Both of them are putting in nice reflect by Kenga. Throws the spiny ball back, but Metro survives. Wasn't able to. It, there was a crack in that situation, but wasn't able to complete it. Two minutes fifty-five seconds left on the clock. I think Kenga is just looking for the stamp. Wasn't able to make that happen. Nicely done. Gets a second chance at football. I didn't know we were playing uh, football right now. Kenga is coming home right now with a cannonball and a spiny ball. It doesn't matter what kind of ball it is. As long as it's a ball, Kenga will know how to reply with it. 
goalkeeping is his game. Nicely done. Throws him off to the side of the stage. And as I say, that King K rule. Sorry, King DDD throws King K rule to the side of the arena. Ooh, we're going to see it. We're going to see it. No. Metroid. Metro makes it Mac into stage. Spiny ball. Doesn't hit a target. Kengar really pushing that corner. Trying to get a stamp. Uh, sorry, a, a spike down. But Metro is not finding uh, the sweet spot for it. Ooh. Goes for the gamble. Gets blocked. Goes for the... I believe it would be the uh, up smash. Nice, he done gets the uh, gets the uh, King K rule slam and King K rule. That's two zero. I didn't realize. <laughs> I felt like that game was gonna go way longer, but just like that, as quickly as that, a king. You know, what is a king to a non-believer in this situation? King DDD believes in Kirby's power, but King K rule just believes in himself. Mine's not a handbag today. And this particular situation. It's definitely King K Rule's day. And King DD gets sent back to the Antarctic with King Gar M. Dongatron at 2 and uh, Metro at 0. This is a brilliant for the Americans, but a terrible blow for Leeds. With that being said, we are going into our final round of our first... Sorry, our final bracket for our first game. Uh, thank you very much for playing Metro. I hope you do stick around for the rest of the stream to watch who who takes it in at the end with that being said we've got frosty maker one two three but Sathiet. we've got a lot of new players actually i think every bracket has actually had one new player so everybody you know all the brackets